Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Mo. Today I'm going to show you how to resize your footage for different platforms. If you're going through all the work to create a recipe video, I highly recommend you use it as many places as possible. It's a little annoying that all these different platforms like Facebook, Instagram, IGTV, even your own blog, have different size requirements. However, it's not that hard to resize your footage and today I'm gonna to show you how I do it. Let's dive in. When I am editing a recipe video, I will do my full edit in a 16 by nine format because I am always using a 16 by nine. And I will add everything I need, color correct, rotate the footage, add music, graphics. Once it's all completed, you can click and drag to highlight everything in the timeline. Click Command C. And then I have a sequence already set up in a square format. If you're not familiar with how to do this, I recommend you go back and watch my video on creating a template project because it saves a lot of time and makes things super easy. I'm going to make sure by pressing the up arrow that I'm at the beginning of my timeline and I can press Command V to paste it all in there. And you can see now my footage is square and I can adjust it however needed. For example, if this bowl wasn't already centered, maybe it was off to the side, I could click, go into effects and adjust the position until it was perfectly centered. If I wanted to go ahead and edit duplicate this sequence, let's say I wanted this to be a video pin, which would be tall. You can see it's duplicated, so it's exactly like the other one, but I can go into sequence, sequence settings and I can adjust it to whatever size I want. And then I can adjust the footage as needed, whether I want to increase the size so it takes up the whole frame or what I would recommend is just moving it up. And then you can go ahead and adjust the placement of the video or add graphics or images as you'd like for Pinterest. That's it. I definitely recommend you try this out. If you're not already, you want those recipe videos to go to work for you. There are a lot of work to put together and they can reap big rewards. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will be back next Tuesday with another tip. See ya.